So, how do note blocks work? Well, let me show you. So here are some note blocks placed over these blocks. And the way it works is that when you place a note block over a particular block, it creates an instrument. Now, in order to change the pitch, you just right click on it, right? So let's go ahead and just right click on it. There it is. And so, like if you place a button on it, whoops. That's the note. And the color corresponds with the note. And this is just something you kind of learn. You learn after the color of notes. See what, what, in, what note it is. Too bad it's not easier if it would say like, you know, what note it was while I was doing that, it'd be much easier. But that's all I got, just the color tones. So we also have the blocks that they're under. And these are all of the blocks and their corresponding instrument. So you have string bass. And you can see the, you know, what block it is, is the oak. Snare drum, hi-hat, bass drum, bells, flute, chimes, guitar, xylophone, vibraphone, cowbell, didgeridoo, 8-bit, banjo, electric piano, and piano. Now, all the different blocks and looking at every one of those individually is kind of for a different video, but we're just talking about how they work. Um, so you have that set up, and the way to make a song, and this is something I personally struggle with, so I'm not very good at it, but it's through the use of Redstone's circuitry. So, suppose we have our note block right there. Let's make sure that this works. Ah, does it work better from the top? I forget. Ah. Yeah, okay. And suppose you have your redstone circuitry, and suppose it went like this. This is just one way. This is not the way. In fact, it's not even the better way, I guess. There are better ways in the long run. Okay. Let's break that. Now it's sending a current through it. And now we got a beat going, right? Suppose you want to go like this, have an 8-bit going, put that block underneath, put the note block on top. See? Now we got the beat going for our song. And doing an actual song is a lot more complicated, but at least you get the general idea of how it works. So those are the note blocks, and that's how it works. This is kind of a very simple and basic tutorial. If you're wanting to do actual songs, like I said, that's for another tutorial for another time, and they're much more complicated. But at least you know the basics of how a note block works.